Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about water and the importance of water and having water on hand. I recently got 18 cases of blue can water, so it does come in a 12 fluid ounce can and it has a shelf life of 50 years. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Alrighty, so looking at the blue water can here, again these are a 12 fluid ounce can, so it is the size of a can. But the key difference with this water right here, which we're going to be looking at another water, is this one has a 50 year shelf life. Now 50 years is a very long time, so it's very good for long term storage. Um, some of the other benefits of this water is that this water can be stored between 38 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 145 degrees Fahrenheit without it losing any of its storing capability, meaning the losing any time that it can be stored. It can still be stored for those 50 years between those um, temperature ranges. Now the inner liner of the can in accordance with the FDA requirements in California Proposition 65, again blue can water, um, they have a non-BPA epoxy coating on the inside to protect the contents from the metal. Aged water in the can has been tested BPA free by an FDA certified lab. So that just gives you some more reinforcement that over the time of this canister uh, being stored that your water is going to be safe and will be able to be stored for that length of time. As for the taste of the water, I have tasted this water and it absolutely has a perfect normal water taste at least in my perspective. Uh, there's no funky taste to it or anything like that. The water is very clear and it tastes very good. Now again, the key point of this video is the importance of storing water and having water on hand. Now whether it's an earthquake, a na another natural disaster, a SHTF situation, whatever the case may be, water is extremely critical to have on hand. It's a critical element that we need to survive and that we need so that we can protect the ones we love and be able to operate daily and to be able to even operate under stressful situations. So having water on hand is absolutely key in my belief and in my eyes. As we look at the bottom of the can, which is very nice, on the blue water cans here as you guys can see, um, every blue water can on the bottom has a nice clearly printed date. And the date is the made on date, so the manufacture date, which on this one here was 824 of 18 and it's best by 820 of 60A. So there's your 50 years right there. And what's awesome about this is even after those 50 years, if you had to come across, if you came across this water or if you need to use the water, you know, yes, it's going to degrade after those 50 years, uh, but the water will still be able to be drinkable and you'd still be able to purify it through natural resources if you want it just to be extra safe. But it's really nice having that expiration date right there on the can so that you exactly know when it's over. Alrighty, so the next water we're looking at is an emergency pack water, SOS water. Now this just comes in a um, package here and it has a shelf life of about five years. Now, um, it has a manufacture date on it, as you guys can see. So it was manufactured 11-2017 and it expires in 11-2022. Uh, this comes in 4.227 fluid ounces, so it's a lot less than a 12 ounce can. But this does have the advantage of the fact that because it's smaller, it's more um, compact, you could put it, store a lot more on you, like if you actually had to put it on person. Uh, and it also has the ability to store more of these packs, you know, in certain types of containers and so forth like that. Now, obviously by doing that, you know, you obviously have to store a lot more of these packs if you want to get to the same uh, fluid ounce that those cans come in. But again, you know, the can is bulky. It's a 12 ounce can. There's no flexibility in it. Uh, but this, this is another method of water storage that I store on hand and that I do store in different type of kits that I put together. Alrighty, so here we go with a little bit of a close-up of the difference. Now, as you can see with the blue water can on your right, it's a 12 fluid ounce standard size can, so there you have it. And then on our left here, we have our SOS, our emergency drinking pack water, which is 4.227 fluid ounces on the left. And as you guys can obviously see, there is definitely a difference in size comparison. 
Obviously, the one that comes in the pack on the left is a lot smaller. Um, you could store a lot more, say, on person, or if you had a small container or something to that effect, you could store a lot more where maybe the can just wouldn't fit properly. I do store both of these types of waters. I like the canister again because it has that 50 year shelf life, but when it really came to storing water on you, you'd have to figure out which would fit best for either your mission, your operation, or whatever it is that you were uh, building your kit to go ahead and do. Alrighty, and here's a close-up demonstration of the difference of uh, storing the water, bl the blue can water say on person compared to the packet of water. And as you guys can see, when that can is in your pocket, uh, obviously these pockets are a bit um, unusual. These are 5'11 pants, so the pockets are a bit deeper. But as you guys can see, you definitely have that bulge inside the pocket and you can definitely feel that canister in there. Uh, there's also side pockets here on these 5'11 pants and uh, putting it in there, again, um, it's still noticeable. Uh, still takes up a decent size space, uh, again, because it is that canister. Alrighty, now we're looking at the pack of water here. This is the 4.227 ounces of emergency water. And as you guys can see, when it's in there, it's almost flush to the body. Uh, you can tell there's a little small bulge there, but, you know, humongous difference in how it feels and, you know, how many you can put in. As you can see, I am now placing my cell phone in there which I would do in a second with the blue canister, but even with the phone in there, it's not a humongous bulge, and you can't really tell the water's there. You can tell the cell phone's there, uh, but it fits a lot better. Again, it is less water, but it's more convenient to store on person. And again, we're putting it in the exterior pocket as well, and you guys can see again, you know, very uh, slim um, look. It, feels very, you can almost not even feel that it's in your pocket. And now I'm putting the blue water can back in because I want to show you guys how it works and how it looks having also your cell phone in your pocket. Um, again, it doesn't really work too well at all. These pockets are definitely deeper than your standard pockets, but even with these deep pockets, you can tell it just it's not the most um, comfortable or the most efficient way to store the blue can water. All right, this is my plate carrier here. This is my uh, Mayflower APC plate carrier with the Traley, I'm sorry, with the Travis Haley uh, D3 CRX chest rig. Um, now again, this is a pocket here on the side, and as you guys can see, I'm putting in the blue water can, and as you can see, you know, obviously it can't close, very bulky, um, and it sticks out there. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the emergency pack water, the SOS water. This is a 4.227 fluid ounce pack and as you can see I got one. I went ahead and I grabbed one more because I knew I could at least get two of those packs on hand. I mean I'm sorry, inside that pocket as you guys can see that I'm closing it up. Alrighty, now we're looking at Spartan Armor Systems Advanced Individual First Aid Kit AFAK. And we're going to go ahead and see um, how we can go ahead and get this water inside this kit and how it works out. And as we go, we're going ahead, we're starting off with just again the emergency SOS 4.227 fluid ounce water. And as you guys can see, we're still able to close it. This kit is fully packed with all the stuff, and we we're still able to get that pack of emergency water inside there. Now we're going to go ahead and try using the blue water can and as you guys can see there's just no way that's going to work. So again there is a difference with these uh, two different waters that we have. Alright now we're looking at the Travis Haley Strategic Flat Pack Plus Pack here. And then we're going to go ahead and do another demonstration of the water and how it's stored and how it looks. So we're starting off with the blue water can and as you guys can see. Uh, we're just storing it in obviously the very front pocket there. You can see how it's bulgy, it sticks out. Uh, you're only going to get so many canisters in there. And again, the reason why we're, I'm only using this pocket is just for demonstration purposes on showing you uh, how much space the two different water types here take up. Now we're going to go ahead and use the uh, pack, the SOS Emergency Water here, the 4.22 fluid ounces. I went ahead and tossed two of them. And therefore, you guys, just to show you guys the humongous difference 
obviously we're um, at um, almost nine fluid ounces of water but again because they're the packs they're nice slim um, there's very no visibility that they're in there and you could definitely store a lot of them all right you guys so in closing storing water is super critical for all different types of situation um, some key things you know they the rule of thumb they say is to have like gallon per day per person and household for water uh, that is a lot of water especially if you have a large family like myself uh, but, you know, think of all the things that you're going to use water for. You don't necessarily have to uh, wash your clothes every day or clean certain things every day. You know, in a situation where you really need to watch your water consumption, you'd really want to only use water for the critical things, uh, eating, drinking, um, you know, maybe sanitizing certain things, brushing your teeth, whatever the case may be. But you'd really want to watch how much water you use on hand. But again, the rule of thumb that they say is one gallon per day per person in the household. Another big key important thing to think about with uh, storing water is that, you know, especially if you stock up on emergency food supplies and stuff like that, you need water to uh, cook that food, to heat it up, however you are to make that food, that emergency food that you have. So having large amounts of water is important. Water weighs a lot, water takes up space. Believe me, I know. So you gotta be creative in uh, how you store the water, uh, different places you can go ahead and put it. Now again, uh, different types of emergency food require different amounts of water. Now you don't have to necessarily use your emergency water you have on hand. There's different methods, water purification tablets, uh, water purification devices that you can use to purify water that you find, but again, you'd have to go out and locate that water. So being able to store as much water on hand as possible, I think is critical. Again, this was just a video about water, the importance, at least my importance and my thoughts on why it's important to store water. Uh, you know, go out there, order the cases if you can. Um, I've used both of these waters. Um, I think they, they taste is perfectly fine, is normal. I've tasted other emergency water that I felt had kind of a funky taste, but these two I can definitely recommend. Um, the cost, you know, it varies uh, based on where you buy it. Um, you know, the canisters are a lot more money than obviously the packets are, but again, you're getting, you know, a five-year shelf life for the packets compared to the blue can water where you have a 50-year shelf life. So, and again, you know, there is a size comparison, so you got to really kind of figure out what's going to fit not only your budget, but what's going to maybe fit your plan, uh, what's going to fit your packs and stuff like that. Again, everybody, thank you for checking out the video and stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave those. And you guys have a good day.